Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. As part of this video, we will see uh, how to access MySQL database uh, on the lab. So you might be wondering, uh, we are talking about big data and uh, I am showing you about a relational database called MySQL. What is the logic behind it? The purpose of MySQL is, uh, typically when we uh, use big data, we uh, there won't be any data which is generated by applications which will be directly stored into big data systems. Mostly the data will be external to the uh, database or external to the big data system and we have to ingest into it. Sometimes we have to ingest from uh, transactional based systems or transactional based databases uh, which are relational databases such as MySQL, Oracle, and uh, Postgres, any, take any relational database as example, we might have to ingest data from those relational databases into downstream systems which are supporting uh, analytics uh, or data warehousing or big data projects. And for that reason, it's uh, typical that we have to uh, store data from uh, external databases into big data. To simulate um, that, I have provided a MySQL database in the lab and he, uh, as part of this video, I will show you how, how to access the MySQL database. So for that, first you need to have the um, account in the, you need to have paid account in the lab if you are using big data labs and you can go to the paid account or go to the uh, URL here, which is provided here and uh, here you can sign in with the account using which you have paid and you will get the credentials right so here you can go to gateway node by clicking on open console or you can also use terminal or putty whatever you want let's take the example of open console here click on open console and now you are in the uh, uh, terminal uh, in um, browser here we can type our account name copy password from here paste and hit enter sorry the user account is training and then password paste it and now I am in the lab Okay, now from here we should be able to connect to the MySQL database. So MySQL database is running on a different host than this one. The host name of this server is gw01.itvarsity.com and uh, MySQL database is on a different host. As of now the MySQL database is on host called nn01.itvarsity.com. Okay. Uh, so we have to connect to MySQL instance running on that host. Uh, so the MySQL provides a command line interface. So you can launch MySQL command line interface by using MySQL commands and then hyphen u for the username. Username is retail underscore dba which is created by me after setting up the MySQL database. Simulating a transactional based uh, data, simulating uh, a relational database which can be used as a transaction based system if it is real time environment. So MySQL hyphen u username and you we have to give host by using hyphen h and uh, it is nn01.itvarsity.com is the host name. As of now it is the host name in future it will change hyphen p for password and uh, it will prompt for the password and the password is itvarsity and you will be in the MySQL command line interface on the terminal or web console. Here, um, MySQL is a multi-tenant database. So you can install MySQL server and you can create as many databases you want. And, uh, and user is different and database is different. Now we have logged into the database using this user, retail underscore DBA and the password is ITVersity. Now if I want to list the databases, we can use show databases command and hit enter. It will list all the databases to which retail underscore dba have access to. So there are three databases as of now. 
one is retail underscore db second one is retail underscore export and third one is retail underscore import we can use any database uh, for our purpose but retail underscore db is read only database for retail underscore db retail underscore db can only query tables in the database he cannot create tables he cannot drop tables he cannot insert into the existing tables he can only select tables uh, that are available in retail underscore db if you want to uh, use your own tables you can uh, use import uh, retail underscore import or retail underscore export and also there will be few more databases which you can use uh, to create tables whatever you want load data into it and then use tools like scoop uh, to uh, to practice the data ingestion mechanism from re relational databases into big data systems such as hdfs um, so now to choose the database we can use use command and the database name in this case retail underscore db and then to list the tables you can run show tables command there are six tables and you can actually query any table uh, in this case i am using i am querying departments if you want to query any other table make sure you use limit command otherwise uh, it will start printing everything and it will take forever okay just to avoid that make sure you use limit and uh, then type and as of now departments have only seven records and we are seeking 10 records so it has displayed only seven if you want to query some other table change the table now and you can see 10 records are printed whereas orders have 68,000 records okay so this is about uh, how to access mysql database in the lab and it is very important um, and that whatever commands i ran if you want you can copy paste from here so that you you validate that you can connect to the mysql database again these are all these videos are just to make sure that you understand all the tools that are available to learn um, or practice any of these big data technologies either for certifications or for uh, learning a new tool uh, at your job whatever it is this, these are the things which you need to go through before you practice that's why as I, I, I am trying to explain all the or I am trying to review all the tools that are available in the cluster that being said I hope you are enjoying the content if you like this uh, topic you can uh, share uh, on the social networking platforms using these buttons um, or you can uh, give the feedback uh, by commenting uh, uh, here yeah, by clicking on leave a comment you can actually comment and then if you want to just uh, uh, means when practicing this one if you run into any issues and if you need support make sure you click on this discuss.itversity.com and uh, you can uh, reply here and i will take care of those issues okay yeah, you can use it for uh, any issues you run into while doing this uh, we will take care of those issues and make sure you don't uh, uh, struck at any point while practicing these technologies that being said thank you bye